Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel, or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be busting five myths about the Great Pyrenees. So, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and smashing that like button. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Number one, Great Pyrenees eat a lot. That is a complete myth. Most people believe that since the Great Pyrenees is a bigger dog, you will commonly hear people say, oh, they must consume a lot of food. Mello, which is our Great Pyrenees, he weighs 150 pounds, only eats about one bowl full of food a day, a full dog food bowl. He only eats one food bowl a day. Sometimes it can go to two. So they honestly don't consume more than any other dogwood yes they are a bigger dog so they will have a bigger amount but he goes through a 50 pound bag of food in about a month which is the same as our coon hound so number two they must take up a lot of space so people often think that since they are such big dogs that they require space and that they cannot live in apartments that is false great pyrenees can live happily in apartments Yes, they are bigger dogs, so they do prefer bigger areas, but they do not need a huge amount of space. They still need their daily exercise, which depends on your dog and the Great Pyrenees breed, but they do not need a big house. They do not need to live on a farm. As you can see, he is in between a wall and my bed, which isn't a very big space, and he prefers smaller spaces. Number three, you can't own a Great Pyrenees if you live in hot weather. That is a really big lie and false. You can too own a Great Pyrenees. Here in North Carolina, which is where we are located, it can get, we can have some pretty hot days in the 90s and he is perfectly happy. Yes, if you do live in hotter temperatures, you will want to provide them with ways to keep them cool, including air conditioning and stuff like that. But they do not need to live in colder weathers. They do have a lot of hair, but they live happily and healthfully, happily in hot weather. Number four, Great Pyrenees need to guard livestock. So that is again, false. Great Pyrenees are used to guard livestock. They are considered guarding dogs. They are commonly um, mistaken for herding dogs, which is completely different. Great Pyrenees are used for guarding livestock, so sitting in the field and watching over the sheep and stuff. Um, but they do not need to do this to be happy. Mello does not do any sort of guarding of any sort of livestock. We do own chickens, but he does not stay outside. He is a fully inside dog that goes outside to use the bathroom and play. Other than that, he is inside, which is not super common for Great Pyrenees. Most people do use them for herding livestock. Yes, they are great for herding livestock, but they can be as happy and as healthy in as they can if they're herding livestock. Same for inside. They can be super happy and healthy inside. So number five, this is probably one of the biggest um, things that you will hear is that Great Pyrenees are hard to train. That is again false. Now it does depend on your Great Pyrenees and their personality and their temperament. But from our experience with Mello, Mello was super easy to train. Yes, they can be stubborn at times, but there is a difference between being stubborn and being um, able to be trained. He knew sit on like the first day that we got him. He knew all of his basic commands in like a week to two weeks of having him as a puppy. We got him when he was eight weeks old. Now, some dogs do have harder time learning things. Um, but the breed itself, I would not say they are super hard to train. Again, they are very stubborn. They can be stubborn, but with the right training and knowing what you were doing, they can make perfect family dogs. So those are all, those are the top five myths that I just busted. If you like these videos, 
please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye!